Hey everyone, back at the dyno shop again. Got a C6 in here today. It's actually got an A and A supercharger on it. Car's already previously been tuned. Everything runs pretty good on it. Uh, but they ran into some issues on the dyno where it was wanting to lose a belt before. So he got the belt replaced, fixed some stuff, and brought it to me. We're going to go ahead and just rev it out a little bit further, see what it makes boost on this pulley. He also added a methanol kit. So we're going to go in and just verify everything still looks good and then start tuning for methanol. Hopefully that's all we kind of got to mess with today is just getting the methanol dialed in and then revving it out a little bit further and seeing where it's at. Uh, I haven't done a lot of these where it's got like boost and the mass airflow as far as a aftermarket supercharger so this one has it so i'm going to keep an eye on like the mass airflow i know these cars can run out of mass airflow at some time so a little bit of learning today just watching everything make sure vitals look good i got hp tuners all hooked up got the credits downloaded stock tune red and everything and the o2 sensor in the back already hooked up so just going to go ahead and make a baseline pull he actually has this so if i pull this little fuse we're going to go ahead and unhook that make sure everything looks good before we spray methanol and then go ahead and start spraying the methanol and dialing that in guys so quick day here only made three pulls on the dyno and unfortunately it only made 430 47 because it's only hitting about two pounds of boost 1.8 to 2 uh, I can see it on the map sensor it just comes up and even though it still has a stock map in it uh, which I guess they tune some of these like this this was kind of one of the first ones I was playing with with like the just bolt-on supercharger where they don't do a lot of mods but 97 98 kpa which up here at elevation like 85 is full, 83. So 97 making about two pounds of boost. And it's made eight before and made 580 on a dyno jet. I don't know, but still, I know we're way off from that. Uh, he did some mods with trying to get the meth in there and some of the tube stuff. So i uh, just gonna go home, verify all that. Probably actually put a boost gauge on this thing and make sure and figure out why it's doing that. He said the other day that the supercharger got super hot when he was out driving and stuff, but I think that just chucks that up to like heat soak in the engine bay, but maybe there is something going on there. So he's gonna take it back, go back over, pull the front end off, cause you gotta pull the front end off to get all the tubes, verify everything's tight and good on this thing. But I think I'm about seven for seven or eight for eight on this thing, but putting cars on the dyno and them not being, always having something. There's always some little issue that we run into and need to kind of work on them on the dyno or take them off, go fix something, then bring them back. So uh, it's part of, part of a dyno day, I guess. All right, everyone, so that'll be it. The car's gone, he's gonna go home, probably hook up a mechanical boost gauge, try to find his boost leak, figure out where all that's at, and then he might end up putting the bigger pulley on, just start tracking through it. That's what sucks, sometimes you come in here, you hope to make more power, hope to make progress on a car, and then the changes you made actually is a step backwards, but sometimes you gotta take a step back to go forward. So that'll be it for this one. We'll see you guys next time.